Robert asked me on Facebook, when's our government going to stop taking money from the Social Security Fund to pay its bills? Uh, well, Robert, uh, the, the day that's for sure going to happen is the day that the money coming into the Social Security Fund doesn't meet all of the demands on the fund, and we're about to get to that time. You know, that's one of the reasons we need to really reform Social Security in a significant way uh, so that uh, it meets the demographics of today and it lasts for uh, a long time. Uh, there's no reason that Social Security has to be viewed as a Ponzi scheme because it's, it's one, it's, it's not designed to fail, and two, you can adjust it, and you need to adjust it uh, long in advance so that people don't have to worry about how it's going to impact them. They have plenty of time to think about how it's going to impact them. Uh, I was for the idea of a Social Security lockbox where we set that fund aside, we don't touch it, we uh, keep it in a unique account so that the government doesn't borrow the money. But at the same time, I really do believe our government will pay the money back. You know, we've always met our obligations uh, to borrowers, and essentially what's happened with Social Security uh, is that uh, that money's been used as if it was a uh, uh, almost like a, a, a government uh, security, a government bond of some kind. You buy those government obligations, the government pays you a little interest, uh, and uh, now the government will wind up uh, meeting the obligation it has to the Social Security Fund. And the other thing to think about is where else would that money have been invested? Uh, government securities in effect or uh, perhaps in the stock market or some other uh, entity if in fact we'd set it aside in a lockbox years ago. The good thing about the lockbox is we'd still have the money. Uh, the bad thing is what would we have done with the money if we put it uh, in the lockbox that would have been more secure than investing it in U.S. government securities, which is essentially what happened. So uh, we're about to come to the end of that process. Uh, the Social Security money is soon going to be exceeded by the money that goes out into Social Security, uh, and then the government starts paying back the obligation it has in the borrowing uh, where President uh, Reagan and Tip O'Neill and others set up this system uh, where we develop a surplus over the years in Social Security so that uh, the Social Security fund would have money uh, owed to it when it came time for the baby boomers to retire. And as you and I both know, they're now retiring.